Your body is an incredible creation, but there are some things in our body that seem normal, that are kind of whacked out and strange. In today's video, I'm gonna give you 10 strange facts about your gut. We'll discuss stomach acid. Can you burn through your skin? How often do you produce your mucosal lining? Ugh. How much saliva do you produce every day? How you actually may have detergent in your guts? What? And more in today's video. Guys, let's talk about pee. Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here, AKA your poop guru, trying to give you the best tips and tricks so you can live your best life from the top all the way down to the bottom. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We can get great tips and tricks like you're learning in today's video. You guys ready? I feel like I'm giving you a promo for that movie, 10 Things I Hate About You. This is different. 10 strange things about your gut. Here we go. Did you know that the acid in your stomach is strong enough to burn off your skin? Yes, but the question then becomes, why aren't you eating a hole inside? Well, luckily your body has a protective mucosal layer that keeps it prote protected, duh, but it keeps it safe and in a contained area. Strange fact number two. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone, I guess. Strange fact number two. Did you know that your stomach lining gets reproduced every two weeks? Yes, it does. You get new lining all the time. And this lining helps to regenerate what's going on inside your body and gets rid of some of the old cells that you don't need anymore. And because of how strong that acid is, you have to keep on producing new cells so you don't just have these old cells that are just burning away. So if you lose that protective lining, this is why you can develop ulcers. So medications like NSAIDs or an infection called H. pylori can actually cause you to reduce that protective lining. That's why when you take these medications or get infected, you may have ulcers or irritation inside your stomach. Strange fact number three, this is me doing hands. Your gut is a crowded place. It is home to tens of millions of billions of microorganisms all talking to each other, saying, what's up players, what's going on? How you doing, I'm doing great. I was blah, 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 blah. Yes, it's bacteria, fungi, viruses that are constantly interacting with your body, your food, and the environment. It's all crowded in here doing their thing, man. And sometimes that crowd can be too many bad guys and that can lead to a lot of gut issues, including a condition called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or SIBO. SIBO is when you have a predominance of bad bacteria that can produce gas, fermentation, and lead to a lot of different symptoms. Strange fact. Your body produces 32 ounces of saliva every single day. That is a freaking buttload of spit. And this saliva, which is in your salivary glands up here, actually begins your digestion. Yes, they actually have a digestive enzyme called amylase. And so, you actually start digesting the minute food goes in your mouth. I'm here! Strange fact number five. It takes seven seconds for food to go from your mouth into your stomach. Seven seconds, that's it. And that movement is called peristalsis. It helps to move things through from here down to here. Now that peristalsis gets impaired or doesn't work, you can have trouble swallowing, food can get stuck, and it could lead to an emergency in which we actually have to push food down. Fun fact number six, your small intestine can stretch out to 23 feet. Yes, 23 feet is stuck right in here. Now the main function of the small intestine is to absorb nutrients, get all that stuff out so your body can use that for energy and use it to help build up what's going on inside your gut. And this is why if you have an absorption problem, it typically is located in the small intestine. Fun fact number seven. You actually have a detergent in your gut. Say what? But yes, you do. Bile acids are actually the detergents in your body. And they're actually produced in the liver and stored in your gallbladder. And without these detergents, you cannot absorb or metabolize fat. So if you have a problem 
with maybe fat malabsorption, you see oil in your stool, could actually be a bile acid problem. And this is one of the reasons why when you get your gallbladder removed, the organ to store bile, you have a lot of diarrhea because you're not absorbing fat. It gets washed away into your colon. Strange fact number eight. If you eat too much, you may want to lay on your left hand side. Now, did you ever notice that that actually becomes a solution if you have gut issues and you're sleeping? The reason you can do that is because that angle helps keep that valve closed between your esophagus and stomach to prevent acid from coming up and to prevent indigestion. Strange fact number nine, your stomach can stretch. This is why people can maybe eat more than what they think, and this is actually how it works when it comes to these hot dog eating contests. In fact, it can stretch so much, you can actually hold four pounds of food at one time. And strange fact number 10, you have over 100 species of bacteria inside your body. Now the best way to increase the not only the number of bacteria, but the diversity is to have as many plants as you can. And what we have found is that when you restrict your diet to mainly a animal-based diet, or you don't have a lot of vegetables, you decrease the diversity inside your gut, which can manifest in a lot of inflammation, autoimmune diseases, and gut issues. All right, bonus fact here, since you wait till the end, did you know that platypuses don't have a stomach? Yeah, okay, I know, I know. It has nothing to do with your stomach or anything else, or with your health, but you know, I thought I'd throw that fun fact in here because you stay till the end. See, I'm always looking out for you guys. Don't worry, I got you guys. So here's my call to action to you. I want you to show love for your gut. Be thankful for it. Maybe have some water to drink instead of having that Coke. Incorporate more probiotic foods and prebiotic foods. Have some yogurt with some live bacteria. Give your gut a hug because of all the things it does for you. And if you love it, it will love you back. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We can give you great tips and tricks like you're learning in today's video. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks, everybody.